It's 5.45 p.m., sort of. Uh, I'm Roland Boyden alongside <laughs> Joe Bushy, uh, and this uh, is uh, 5.45 Live on deck tonight. Election results. Uh, Brattleboro returns a select board intact. We're up at the high school to get you that. Uh, town meeting. BCTV was at seven different Vermont towns. And a sad farewell for Melinda Busno, a real community hero. We're going to talk about all that. I mentioned uh, it's going to happen in less than 15 minutes. So stick with us here on 545 Live. <laughs> I want to see towns uh, put the issue on their local ballots. I want to see the state legislatures uh, deal with this issue. We have to develop a very strong grassroots movement to make it clear to the United States Congress that corporations are not people and we don't want big money interest buying elections. Welcome back to this March 7th, 2012 edition of 545 Live. That's U.S. Senator Bernie Sanders back in January when we cornered him in the hallway of the this very municipal center to ask him about his constitutional amendment. Asked and answered for Bernie's in his campaign to end corporate personhood when his request for towns across Vermont to add to their town meeting warnings support for his Saving American Democracy amendment, better known as the Citizens United Constitutional Amendment. We had 55 towns at town meeting demand that the U.S. Congress move forward to overturn Citizens United and restore American democracy to the concept of one person, one vote. Bernie on the Senate floor earlier today talking about the overwhelming support for his campaign from towns all across Vermont. Among the towns with Bernie's amendment on the agenda was the BCTV service territory covered Newfane, Vermont. The town of Newfane recognizes that for-profit corporations should not be accorded the rights given to natural persons by the U.S. Constitution. Congress and the states should have the authority to regulate corporations and to set limits on all election contributions and expenditures. All those in favor of this motion, please indicate so by saying aye. Aye. And those opposed by saying no. The eyes appear to have it. It goes in the record that this motion has been passed. All right, we'll have plenty more town meeting footage from across Wyndham County in a moment, but first, election 2012. Spent way too much time working on that little graphic for us here. <laughs> Let's see, what do we got? Uh, Joe and I were at the high school last night uh, as town clerk Annette Cappy grabbed the, the ticker for the final tally in Brattleboro. Last year's select board was returned intact, though challengers Catherine Turnis and surprisingly William Morlock, who dropped out of the race two weeks ago, although he was still on the ballot, both garnered solid support. Out of 8,310 voters, we had 1,829, which is 22%. Select board three years, vote for one. David Gartenstein, 1109, and Catherine Turnis, 511. All right, and uh, totals for select board, as we mentioned, uh, David Gardenstein, where's my slate, uh, 1099, Catherine Turnus, 511, uh, Chris Chapman got 1285, Dick DeGray, 1093, and William Morlock with 436 votes. All those uh, available on ibrattlebro.com if you want to see uh, the full list. And as many predicted, it was Mitt Romney who garnered the Republican primary support for Brattleboro's voters. Uh, let's hit the slate here for the totals on the Republican primary as well. Mitt Romney, 270 votes. Rick Santorum uh, behind him with 177. Ron Paul uh, in third place with 164. Newt Gingrich, 45. And John Huntsman, 17 votes. He'll need just a few more if he's going to lock up sure. the, the primary. Yeah, but still trying, no. Yeah, 17. A, a good place to start. Um, all right, uh, I'll throw it back your way, Joe. All right. We weren't the only TV crew at the high school yesterday, though Boston University's TV channel BUTV showed up to tape a special on Vermonters' take on the heated Republican primary. Super Tuesday in Vermont kicked off at 9 a.m. with 17 delegates up for grabs for the GOP primary election. Residents in the city of Brattleboro headed to Union High School to cast their votes in the town's local election as well as the national presidential primary. Reporting from Brattleboro, Vermont, I'm Marie Tordo for BUTV. BUTV, they uh, made the trek out to Brattleboro. Right, Joe, I want to move on to town meeting in just a second, but first, the community lost uh, a true hero, I would say. Um, over the weekend, Melinda Busno suffered a heart attack on Friday and uh, was at Brattleboro Memorial Hospital. Um, and Sunday morning, she passed away. Uh, the longtime, longtime Brattleboro area drop in center ED and uh, a, a real. Uh, just huge community asset um, 
as she was described in the Reformer, Army of Army One. Army of One, right. She worked so hard uh, for just about everybody in this community, uh, and especially those uh, particularly in need. Uh, we've got a clip of her from the early 90s, just to show how long she uh, was was fighting away for uh, to make this community a better place. There are people who have histories of being here in this community for a long time, who are homeless, who are disabled. And those people are here in this community now, so you are providing the services for them. And uh, on to town meeting. BCTV had their eyes and ears in seven towns across Vermont, totaling almost 30 hours of local programming making appearances in almost every video were Wyndham County representatives uh, who traveled town to town to update constituents on the legislative sessions thus far. Uh, topics uh, included the uh, classics Vermont Yankee, broadband access, and more. Uh, at Dummerston's town meeting, Wyndham County Senator Jeanette White uh, opened with a fond recount of her county's influence in Montpelier. I love being in the Senate, and I love serving Wyndham County. It's um, a bit of a unique county when you start talking with other senators and you talk about things going on in your county and people say, is that really what happens down there? And it, it is true. I think we're a unique county. Next, it would be a 545 Live if we didn't have yes, something sir. from yes. Governor Shumlin, his latest mission to bring back math and make it sexy again. It's imperative that in order to prepare Vermont's kids, Vermont's children, Vermont's students for the workforce of the 21st century, it's critical that they have college math skills. All right, uh, before we get the drum roll into the final credits, we'll do a, a couple of our, uh, my, my favorite things, traffic, weather, uh, among them. We'll start with traffic, looking at downtown, of course, uh, high tech, as I like to call it. I think we can call it high tech, Joe. Uh, hey, we're looking, we're looking at, good down there Yeah, now, looking huh? uh, at some excellent traffic today. Of course, this is powered by Inrix and Beat the Traffic. Putney Road in the green, which means it's flying. Red is standstill traffic. Orange is moving, but heavily congested. So you can see a couple key areas Orange in downtown between High Street and Canal Street is a, a gift these days. <laughs> so uh, if anybody needs to go south through uh, downtown, enjoy it now. High go Street, now. Putney Road in the green, that is excellent. Uh, 91 traffic goers are good to go, as is so often the case. All right, that's our traffic report. Get it up on the screen here behind us as uh, well to keep tabs on it. It's updated uh, to the minute. Um, and uh, you can keep tabs that way yourself on your phone. Again, beat the traffic, Inrix, the team behind that. Uh, before we head out, since we have uh, just a little time left, we'll touch on weather as well. Uh, let's take a look at what's coming up here. Joe, you're the, uh, the oh, meteorologist yeah. around here. I'll tell you what uh, I know. A passion to... for weather. Why don't you start, and then we'll do the... Uh, what I see there is there's in the next 10 days, there are two nights when it's going to be below freezing. And outside of that, every night low is well above freezing. So some nights next week into the 40s at night lows. In touching into the 60s again next week, uh, most days it's going to cool down a little bit Friday and Saturday uh, for the U.S. Open so they can have a little bit of a solid surface under them. And uh, But outside of that, we are... For the next 10 days, we are definitely looking like we're heading into spring. So keep our fingers crossed and hope we don't get that two feet in April. And uh, we'll see what happens. Yeah, you've segued perfectly into the U.S. Open. Uh, yeah. We don't need to talk too much about it, but give us the, the teaser. This is something on your radar. Uh, U.S. Open is an annual event held at Stratton Mountain. And uh, it's uh, sponsored by Burton. And there will be the best snowboarders in the world up there. And the uh, 545 Live team is going to take a hike up there at least once or twice and uh, oh, yeah. get us a little footage for the show of those uh, snowboarders. So we're talking Sean White and uh, all of them, the, the best of the best. So very, we'll get very some footage exciting. of that for the show Absolutely. next week. Yep. All right. Uh, that's all I got. So it makes it a full lid. Uh, a few notes before we wrap, though. You can catch the Vernon meeting at 7.30 p.m. tonight on Channel 10. Uh, with Jamaica and Dummerston's town meetings to follow starting tomorrow morning. Uh, and, of course, all these meetings are going to be available if they're not already. Uh, some of them are already up. They're going to be at brattlebrotv.org where we have uh, video on demand for all local programming. Uh, we've got a category called uh, Town Meeting 2012. We're going to put up uh, seven meetings up there, so be sure to check that out. Uh, in addition, tonight at 7 p.m., Brooks Memorial Library continues their first Wednesday lecture series with the Dartmouth professor Jane Carroll as she considers one of the treasures of Western civilization, the Book of Kells. 
All right, uh, that's all I got, Joe. So we better just say what we always say around this time. We're bringing, we can tell folks we're bringing Daryl in on Friday to tell us a little Wyndham bit about County the Wyndham County Heating County Fund. Heat Fund so yes, absolutely. Daryl Pillsbury, to him. Uh, he'll head into Studio B as we crisscross the platform there. In addition, okay. uh, Brattleboro Select Board organizational meeting coming up from downstairs. BCTV Access Coordinator Frederick Noyes and his son Connor oh. just stepped out of the frame, setting up downstairs. This is, of course, the live camera feed that we'll get you oh, in just a Connor. moment. There he is. Uh, so they're going to swear in new select board members. Town uh, clerk Annette Cappy, who you saw earlier, will be down there. Uh, should be a, a pretty quick one, a fun one, uh, as this uh, not so new, but uh, technically new select board uh, right. gets started on a new year. All right, that's it. So uh, for BCTV and 545 Live, I'm Roland Boyden alongside Joe Bushy. And say good night. Good night, everybody. I have my Robert Mills order here. Uh, about 700 pages long, I haven't quite read it all. The General Henry Robert, who gave his name to this book, was, in quote, a sparely built but gregarious and determined U.S. Army engineer officer.